Hello to all the beta testers of Scene Director. I want to give you a first preview of the beta version we're working with now, which includes the Holy Grail, the player recording. So let's just test the scene I recorded with a player, a vehicle, and a helicopter. As you can see from the menu here, they have a recording. So let's switch to the active one. And we'll see, this is a recording of a person who walks. At the same time, we have a helicopter, which plays through another playback. And we have this car behind here, which is actor number three, which is playing. Now you see the helicopter is following the road, and also the actor is walking at the same time. For now, I focus on movement, and now perhaps we see the pet we have as well, yeah. There we can see him walking around, getting stuck in a fence. And uh, maybe he will get loose, it maybe not. And um, let's check he the helicopter is finished and this actor is now on playback number 31 out of 54. And he is a bit stuck. So anyways that's the first uh sh wanted to show you off the scene director with the player recording. So let's test it a bit from the start. So I'm just gonna go reload the mod. Like this, and we are initialized now. So then we assign a single actor, and as you can see from the actor menu, we have this record actor. Once you start recording, uh, it removes all the menu for now, and you need to press Alt R to stop the recording. So let's try to start the recording. Right now, it doesn't record if you're walking or running, but that's going to be one of the first things we add. So let's just gonna record a bit of walking like this and over the hill like that. When I press Alt R now, you see it has changed some of the menus. It says it's a recording 22 instructions and we have a possibility to re-record the actor or test the recording. Uh, we can also, if we change the scene mode from setup to active, it will automatically run all uh, the actors who have a recording. So let's test it. So it teleports you back to the start location of the recording, and then it runs through uh, these 22 instructions. And you can follow the uh, progress here uh, as it goes along. And we can tweak how often we want to record uh, these actions. Um, yeah, as you see, it's a very smooth movement here. Um, does look very natural. Um, right now, we can actually change the walking style. So if I want to be slightly drunk and I want to be r running, and if I test the recording, let's see. The tipsy part worked, but the running doesn't work. So, and then as you're going along, you can get even more drunk. And you can see them walking here. So the walk style will now be taken into account. So now it's limping. Um, if we are in a car, let's create a clone and test that with a car. The clone is now in slot here. Um, let's get a car somewhere. There's no car here, so we'll just spawn one. So now we are in a car. If we then start the recording, we will record the movement as in a car. So let me just drive a bit over here. What's happening now at every, I think it's 400 milliseconds, it's determining the location you are and uh, we can probably also determine things like speed in the future so we can see how aggressive you're driving. But right now there's one standard driving side for everything. Okay, let's just stop here. Let's drive into this right here. Pressing Alt R, we stopped it and the recording is finished. Let's test it. Now we're we then travel back to where we started, and as you see on the playback, it's running the recording one by one. 
I currently now it's the aggressive driving style, which is then determining how uh, the driver tries to drive. So right now it's the stuck behind traffic, and it doesn't really isn't really able to get through. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, so he's free of traffic. Now he's at playback point 16 out of 35, and he will just continue to drive there towards these uh, big antennas, the satellite dishes here. As you see, it's quite speedy going through, and he also follows the instruction quite clearly. And at the end, he tries now to drive to the end point, but he's not able to because he's not off road, so we can change that to off road. And it won't follow the road directions and will go more or less directly into the. So when it gets close to the end point, it will automatically switch to the last point. Right now you can see it's a bit stuck. He's at playback 35. Yeah, it's finished. So now it's finished. Now we've recorded a um, player with a car. And let's try to do the same with a helicopter. We're now actor number three. And we need a helicopter, let's go on that. Okay, so we're in a helicopter, we're actor number three, and we can start the recording. Let's just fly over to where we started. So it doesn't see what keys you're pressing, it basically tries to find the location at fixed intervals. So we could try to just land by this one. Just and then we'll end the recording. If you want to test that, we're back to the start, we have 20, 28. As you see now, it's flying by itself through the waypoints. Uh, we need to tweak the helis, because right now it's getting the waypoints a bit too quickly. It needs to have a bit longer distance between the waypoints. So that's the biggest difference between cars and actually the actors. Um, I think I have the recording for boats and planes as well. I haven't tested it a lot. So let's try now to just make the scene active, which then should then trigger all these three recordings at the same time. And we'll stay with the helicopter. Now the scene is active, we have one player walking, we have the helicopter over here, and we should probably see the car as well coming up over the hills. This electric car, that's probably one we see over here. It's driving. So the next step will then of course be to add different actions like entering vehicles, aiming at stuff, or anything, but it's still white. I think it's looking good already. Um, looking forward to what we see in a bit for this. Alright, thank you.